Hello everyone and welcome back. I think today we will finally see the end of the Etruscan League. The we will put an end to their suffering once and for all and put them rightfully under the control of Rome. First we just need to kill all these people. Um, we seem to be pretty evenly numbered, uh, four and four. I, I just have a couple more range units than they do. Uh, I don't like the fog. Let's wait. Rain. That's, might be worse than fog. Okay. Well. I guess this land weeps. General. For the loss, for the losses that we'll take in part today. Um, yeah, I think I like this area a little bit. You know what I might do, actually, even? I might split my forces up. Put two over here. And these two. We'll have that as uh, our second command. General. And then this is our first. Alright, well, let's get this on. We'll put our troops here. Our reinforcements have arrived. And put these guys here. It looks like, yeah, our, rein, our ships have come into play, so we'll land those forces over there, and then hopefully we'll do like a three-prong attack on them. Well, it looks like their ships are going to land. Where can they land? Looks like they're going to land right there. Shoot. Need to get Felites, your these guys into position like immediately maybe we can actually even cut these guys off Jupiter willing at your service victory for Rome Elites missile infantry advance at speed Looks like they're about to land here. Felites, sons of Mars. Missile infantry ready. Ready. Man at speed. Felites. Proud Romans all. They were fast. I really, I really tried to get those guys right now, and they really did a good job of of not getting attacked. guys get into a better formation so they don't get pelted as much looks like we're still taking a couple of losses from these guys yeah they're they've got javelins so March. 
looks like we're trying to do some damage over there. Come on. Your orders. Loose. Brave Romans to a man. There we go. Do you think they'll actually attack us here? Nah. We'll attack them. Jupiter gives us strength. Hopefully this Admiral will do well over here. I know he's supposed to be on the water, but hopefully he'll hold the line here. Oh, looks like they've got some reinforcements. Sorry, trying to concentrate over here. Looks like we've got a clash of steel over here. The battle is turning in our favor. I hope so. We're trying to do enough work over here. Oh, looks like they've retreated. Try to get some of these guys. Yeah, 72, 71. Getting a couple of them. Has started. At your service. Has started. Melee infantry at your command. Missiles are waiting targets. Victory for Rome! Brave Romans to a man! Oh, I think we won this day. Yep, looks about like it. Alright. Let's end that battle and see what we got. Bloodthirsty! So we lost 248 and they lost about... 1086 about and then I say the exact number perfect um, what is that still like uh, four to one I mean we almost seem pretty evenly matched but four to one stabbing you in the throat not evenly matched Just occupy this. Yes, faction destroyed. Perfect. So, lo, well, looks like this is a nice fishing town. We hunger for battle. Let's see what we can upgrade for him. Um, we can give him. actually let's give him that plus five morale yeah because he's got plus five morale here so now he's got plus ten morale and we'll make him a better fighter definitely 
next time he ever comes across anyone, <laughs> they will be sorry. And we don't need the ships Rome. here anymore. Let's change that emblem. So we can actually send these ships guys support. back to reinforce. So that seems pretty good for us. Let's see here. We still have this army that's waiting. And this army is healing. Ready for battle. You you can get the uh the eagle as well. You're part of Rome now. Well that looks pretty good for now. So I guess what we'll do is we'll just end this turn and uh, see how our next one comes into play here. <laughs> I don't know. I thought we were going to attack. Uh, whoa. What was? Uh-oh. Sparta looks like it's trying to take over northern Greece over here. And it looks like it holds out against another attack. And it, it confirms that that city is part of Sparta now. So that's interesting. I wonder Hopefully, maybe then we can be friends with Sparta for a little while. Oh, nice. It looks like we finally finished our other uh, research here. Um, so from what I was told... Yes. Yep. So if you research everything in one category, you actually get a special little bonus. And it looks like it's a plus 3% um, replenishment rates for all armies and fleets. For the management. Yeah. So that's awesome. So those are those little bonuses. Uh, since we've done run one route in uh, military. I'm going to do another in um, the civil. We'll see how that goes. Ready for orders. Easy in support. And uh, I'm going to try to maybe recruit another guy for this. 200 how much is there is that 52 um a turn there well we'll make one more just in case Let's check out our new town that we have. At your command. Actually. Oh, it looks like yeah, we can expand that. Oh, that is that what that is? Yep, that's what that is. Okay. So let's see here. We'll expand. Hey, get me back in there. Commander. They really don't like us. So you know what? We'll build that. Romanize them a little bit more. Yeah, they are not happy. But it looks like we've got some extra household. Uh, plus one to authority when leading a fleet. Not quite right. Who is that? Man. Ready for battle thought you were doing good why did you have to get this trait minus two authority plus one zeal it's really it's really not beneficial but whatever let's see here 
looks like our construction is Roman is finally done so looks like we make a little extra money there spreads our own influence perfect and war was declared on Athens and Epirus huh so yeah it looks like the Epirus is losing control right now yeah Sparta has Sparta obviously and then they have two more territories so they've expanded so they look like they're pretty warrior like right from the get go at your command laying siege to the settlement hmm oh wow oh wow we are really outnumbered military hoplites or militia hoplite military um man we only have 19 and they have 17 reinforcing plus their 1400 I did, I did not anticipate this being as difficult as it is now become. Um, Fall back. You know what? Is I am going to break that siege. Ready for battle. Uh, stance ambush minus 50% I'm gonna fortify Yeah, I'm gonna fortify well right here comfy, man. I think we need some more forces to secure this this place. We may want to bring Ready for this guy down. On the move. See here, recruit. Hmm. Well, whatever. We'll recruit two of those just for funsies. They can't hurt at this point. That may have been a bad call trying to fight them off, but we need to get through them. We need them to get out of our way. I really would like to push north for a little while, but hate not to, uh, I don't know. These Carthaginian towns don't look too reinforced, but they, the looks may be deceiving from what I've seen on here. Let's see what else we can do in the meantime. Nothing here necessarily, nothing there, and nothing really here. So we can save up some of our money for the next turn and see what else we can purchase. Not making that much money. That gives us an extra six hundred. Okay. Well, we'll leave it like that for now. Um, 
Maybe we can do some. If a faction's initial offer or demand isn't quite what you had in mind, you can use the counter offer option to enable further negotiation to take place rather than simply rejecting it. Okay. Maybe Athens. Be welcome here and we'll speak as you wish without fear of consequence give us or a danger. Trade, ag trade agreement. Maybe we'll do a payment. Um, where is it? Break. I don't see where we can make a payment at. Where we can just pay them some money. Oh, there it is. Psh, at the very top. Durr. Uh, let's see here. We'll give them... 280? Maybe four, 420. It's still low. They're rejected. I, I don't know. Seems like a good offer to me. Greetings, friend. Like to trade with me? Whatever you okay. You're good. I guess it doesn't hurt to ask, right? Athens doesn't want to trade with me. Do these guys? You are welcome, although my ancestors. Have... No. Okay. I don't think anyone wants to trade with me at all. I think everyone kind of dislikes me. They might trade. They might trade. We will gladly listen to your offers, but do not wrap them in lies. No. Um. How about a trade agreement? Uh, payment. I'll offer. Two eighty. Moderate. Will you not give well, our people? Well, heck, no. I will not pay you one thousand four hundred dollars. So you can forget about that. No, I will not pay you 1600 You can go to hell, too. Okay, so everyone's unreasonable. Perfect. Well, that stinks about this army down here. I wonder if I can hire any mercenaries even now. I might need these guys. Mercenary hoplites? Okay. Javelins. Veteran hoplites, eh? How much do these guys cost in upkeep? Holy cow. Dude, if we buy those guys, we better use them, like, immediately. Because that's just going to cost an arm and a leg to keep these. Because, I mean, right now, our Saudi's upkeep is 90. They're like 500. That's ridiculous. Alright, well, we'll end this turn here. See what our next turn has in store for us. The one thing I keep complaining about is I wish I could look around while... It's loading like this, but I've never been able to do it before, so I don't know why I'm complaining now, but Athens looks like a really nice city. Hope they uh, they withstand and Sparta and them don't go to war, because it looks like Sparta might kick their ass. That army is huge that they have over there. I keep forgetting to move my spy. Need to keep her exploring. Also need to maybe move a diplomat around and have him check out some stuff. That may be for the best. Okay. 
So he's gained something. Okay, our veteran. Um, assault patrols plus fifteen percent casualties inflicted on enemy units. Wow. Let's see here. Yeah, his authority is lacking and so is his cunning. For my guy, maybe we should do more cunning. Because at least that might make up for my guys lack of therefore of yeah two and two now so that gives them a minus 10% line of sight so hopefully that should help him out a little bit let's see what else we got we got some more ships we will send that to the pool. Yeah, we have a lot of the 5% increase to morale, which is really nice. Um, nice. Make a little bit more money over here, and hopefully we'll increase our happiness. Um, Local commerce, plus 10% from livestock buildings. I think we're gonna do that. That seems good to me. And they finished constructing their building. Perfect. Okay. War was declared. Let's see who that is. Oh, man. These guys? <laughs> that poor Greek state's gonna gonna come to a close here pretty soon commander looks like we'll be able to take out that guy and then we, we still have our back. forces uh, stationed up here hmm. I was thinking that they might have attacked us with those superior forces but it looks like they're actually launching them into boats and they might be trying At to escape. Make haste, men. I'm not sure. But either way, I'm going to try to bring in some reinforcements. Um, maybe I will bring a couple more javelins just in case. I just want to make sure that we'll have some forces, hopefully, to win the day. Well... This has been another episode, and I just want to thank everyone for uh, joining me for this one. And uh, please do join back for any other ones that I may make. But until then, goodbye.